so let's start our event a very good morning to one and all our guests mtc participants faculty community and all my dear friends this is vaishali nadar your host for the day my warm welcome to all of you to this entrepreneurship and innovation talk series organized by perna club of saint francis institute of management and research i feel greatly privileged and extremely thrilled to be a part of this esteemed institute where we are not only taught within the four walls but also taught to think beyond to commence with our program with our femar anthem make me an instrument Dr. Silba Rawrani, our director at Saint. Good morning, everybody. Respected dignitaries, faculty, staff, and students. Good morning to you all. On behalf of the management, faculty, staff, and students, I warmly welcome our today's guest speaker, Professor Bolana Datta. Professor Bolana Datta is a founder president for MTC Global. He is a mentor in Startup India initiatives. government of india and mentor of change at atal innovation mission i am taking this opportunity to especially welcome our chairman reverend brother alphonse nesemani registrar brother xavier munda and our mms in charge director dr g ramesh all academicians industry delegates who all are attending this session it is both an honor and a pleasure to welcome everyone who present here today students this workshop we are conducting in association with mtc global and pimar mms it is primarily aim is to help young people to develop entrepreneurial skill and to find innovative ways of doing business entrepreneurship is a driver of economic growth job creation and the source of countless ideas many of which were successfully translated into products and services it also makes communities more vibrant inclusive and secure entrepreneurship and innovation are central to prime minister narendra modi's vision for transforming india innovation and entrepreneurship is a manifest in the growing waves of startup in india that is in the health technology mobile app e-commerce and many other sector students students these are some of the reasons that we are so excited about entrepreneurships and with this like note i am thanking you all and once again i am welcoming you all here for this session in detail about this entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship and innovation bolanath sir will definitely guide you thank you thank you all thank you ma'am for your address we have with us dr g ramesh who is in charge director of saint francis institute of management and research professor and program head of mms program 
as well as head of PMAR PSC Centre and the University of Mumbai. She is an industry veteran in the field of defence, public relations, marketing, and is currently in higher management education. And together has around 32 years of service. Dr. G. Ramesh is awarded with the Chief of Air Staff, Indian Air Force, Western Air Command, Rashtriya Gaurav Puraskar. Dr. G. Ramesh is also a competency assessor of senior management personnel of various PSUs such as BEL, NTPC, ONVC, Bank of India, Aditi Bhikra, etc. Now I call upon Dr. G. Ramesh to deliver. You keynote address to our students. Thank you, uh, Vishali. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Respected uh, the speaker of the day, Professor uh, Bolonath Dutta, sir. Our uh, chairman, Reverend Brother Alphonse Nesamani, Reverend Brother Xavier Munda, our registrar, Director PGDM, Dr. Sulbar Aurani, other dignitaries, and our colleagues, staff, and our students. A very good morning to one and all present here. It's indeed a, a distinct pleasure for me to be given the opportunity to deliver the very brief keynote address. Uh, I would like to just take just about five minutes. Uh, we'll start with brief uh, statistics about uh, certain information and then end with uh, uh, another set of uh, statistics. Well, uh, we all know India's population stands above 1.3 billion currently. It is expected to reach uh, approximately 1.8 billion by around 2050-55. In that, roughly about 26 million only enter the workforce every year, and uh, which is against 700 million occupational opportunities for the workforce available. But again, this is growing at a speed at a rate of about 30 million per year. Now, this statistics is one side that opportunities are existing. There are a lot of challenges. Internally, there are three important challenges that have been identified. One is the humanistic deficit. Second is financial deficit. And third is governance deficit. While these challenges are identified specifically with reference to the governance deficit, our government of India, as indicated by uh, uh, Dr. Sulba Rabrani, about the different initiatives taken by the government of India under the able prime ministership of uh, uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji, there are a lot of schemes they have identified to reduce the deficit of uh, the governance. Some of them I would like to just mention here, which is uh, definitely going to be useful for the students' community and every entrepreneurship entrepreneur budding entrepreneurs and those who are already into that entrepreneurship mode. Number one is multiplier grant scheme for IT research and development. Number two is modified special incentive package scheme. Number three is venture capital assistance scheme. Number four is credit guarantee. Number five is raw material. Number six is infrastructure development scheme. Number seven is MSME market development assistance. Number eight is Atal Incubation Center. Number nine is Rich Loan Against Capital Studies. Structures. Now, having said all these things, you can find out the information about this in the Startup India website, which is very prominently you know, uh, made available. Uh, there is a survey which is conducted by uh, world-renowned Randstad Work Moni Monitor and they took a survey across 33 countries. They identified or reported around 83% of the Indian workforce would like to be an entrepreneur, which is higher than the global average of about 53%. And around 86% of the respondents are actually indicating that the ecosystem developed or established by the Indian government is very conducive for the startup and favorable uh, supports are being provided. So keeping this basically is because of uh, certain aspects, uh, something like a stable business environment, market-oriented reforms like uh, raising foreign development, uh, foreign direct investment caps, implementation of GST, Make in India initiative, Digital India, and fostering, which is fostering the ambitious Indian and as well India. 
In fact, uh, to bring it to your notice that the current uh, state startup ranking framework of 2022 results uh, were announced and Maharashtra uh, incidentally happened to be recognized as the top performer. So we being in Maharashtra, those who are in the state, they can utilize the uh, developmental aspects initiated by the state, state government of Maharashtra. And uh, as per the global entrepreneurship monitor, to end with another uh, uh, set of statistics, as per the global entrepreneurship monitor, India report 2021-22, India's total entrepreneurial activity rate, which is the percentage of adults in the age group of 18 to 64, starting or running a business. That increased that TA, total entrepreneurial activity rate, increased to 14.4% in 2021, which, is, which was actually 5.3% in 2020, very significant increase. While the employment rate uh, in 2021-22 fell to 35.8%, which was earlier 50.8% in 2012. So you can see the contrast, the employment rate is decreasing, whereas the entrepreneurial uh, rate, the, the, the rate is increasing uh, significantly. Now this particular program, that is Institutions Innovation Council Activity, uh, the workshop which is, uh, the students are going to have under the Ministry of Education was another important milestone by the government of India. And uh, in fact, we are part of uh, this IIC, uh, St. Francis of Management Research, BGDM, as well as St. Francis of Institute of Management Research, MMS, are part of this particular activity. And we are uh, urging all the participants to have a diverse thinking and expand your horizon entrepreneurially. I'm sure uh, the speaker of the day, Professor Bolana Dattasar, is going to give you a lot of insights, is going to share a lot of his experience and thoughts and make you uh, build up your thought process from among the uh, entrepreneurial build up uh, uh, students or the uh, aspirants who are present he out here. So I take this opportunity to wish all the uh, students to gain as much as possible and also take this opportunity to thank the organizers to give me this opportunity to give a brief address. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for your valuable inputs. Thank you, Vaishal. We have been fortunate and also we are privileged to have Reverend Brother Alfred Stephanie as our chairman, who is not only a symbol of dedication, but also a great source of inspiration and encouragement to our students as well as faculty community. He always endeavors to motivate each player of this institute to perform his best. He is assistant superior general of publication of Franciscan Brothers and also has served nationally and internationally in the field of education for more than 27 years. He is a part of various bodies like IMC Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Bombay Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Education Promotion of India, All India Higher Education, Xavier Association of Management Institutions, and many more. Now I would like to request our Honorable Chairman, Reverend Brother Alphonse Nishman, to deliver a special message to our audience. Dear yeah, respected Professor Dr. Subha Rao Rane, Director of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, PGDM, Professor Dr. G. Ramesh, in charge and deputy director of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, Brother Sevia Registrar, Professor Bolinath Tata, founder MTC Global, an entrepreneur and educationist, your teachers, non teaching staff, and my dear participants of this under entrepreneurship and innovation talk series. Wish you all a blissful day as we are come together to dwell on the important topic, entrepreneurship, which is resounding in all the spheres of life in our country. The vision of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research envisages that our management student participants develop as an entrepreneurial class of value-based industrial leaders Hence, we are in entrepreneurial education from the inception of our institute. Our both prerna, that is entrepreneurship cell, and the institute's innovation cell, 
engages our students with the creative ideas and innovations so that to instill an entrepreneurial mindset in them a few of our present students are student entrepreneurs he instituted entrepreneurship award for alumni entrepreneurs recently we added 67 spamer alumni in our entrepreneurs list entrepreneurship talks and education fosters entrepreneurial mindsets behaviors and capabilities in people enabling them to create and lead organizations in our teaching learning process the students are also to be exposed to action oriented experiential and project based learning that stimulates problem solving today we are blessed by the presence of our eminent speaker dr bolanath datta i am certain that his session will enhance our creative and innovative thinking processes leading to develop an entrepreneurial ecosystem thanks to the organizing committee members under the able leadership of dr simon sain thank you and god bless you thank you brother for your address it's a pleasure for me to introduce our speaker today professor bolana datta who need not require an introduction he is an educationist senior entrepreneur and visiting professor in india and overseas former world bank quality assurance expert in higher education author career counselor business coach chairman global entrepreneur spread and founder president mpc global a global think tank in higher education he is a champion mentor in startup india initiative government of india and mentor of change at atal innovation mission atal tinkering lab niti ayog government of india author of 21 books over 100 pages serving in the advisory board of many organizations b schools and universities in india and overseas professor datta has over 25 years of experience in defense corporate higher education research consultancy and startup activities a change maker and a force behind over top 50 fast breaking initiatives under mpc global and thus adding value every second in education space cutting across geographic region now i request professor bolana datta to take over the session uh thank you so much uh, vaishali at the outset uh, let me express my heartfelt thanks and uh, gratitude to the management and especially dr simon sir for giving me this uh, wonderful learning opportunity this morning in fact i had been uh, associated with uh, st francis institute of management and research uh, for last few years and uh, had the opportunity to interact Uh, with the students and i must say that uh, no this is one of the best business schools as far as different programs as a part of uh, co curricular and extra curricular activities have been taken up by the institute and a uh, lot of value added activities have been successfully carrying out i think that's something very very unique and uh, very good morning to one and all especially uh, the honorable chairman of uh, st francis institute of management and uh, research uh, brother alfonso other member of uh, governing council director deputy director esteemed faculty team and uh, the future manager leaders entrepreneurs okay and uh, other mtc global members those who are present this morning and uh, i'm sure that uh, you no know, there will be many takeaways and we'll have uh, a very uh, you no know, enriching question and answer session at the end of uh, uh, you no know, my uh, uh, brief talk on the subject i think that part is very very uh, important part now uh, let me start with a uh, you no know, small uh, 
uh, story is not story, but I'm sure that all of you have come across uh, no, as a part of your uh, no teaching learning process. Uh, it's about the positivity. Most of the time we have seen that you no know, one glass half fill of water and uh, we are asked, okay, can you tell me whether it is uh, no half filled or you no know, half empty? And uh, now we have seen that you no know, students or participants, they interact in different ways. And we try to find out uh, that uh, people are very positive if they say that it's uh, half uh, filled. But there is another you know, new, new, new dimension to this particular uh, no story, and uh, and some people they say that uh, you no, know, it is uh, half filled with uh, water and uh, half filled with air. Okay, so that's the kind of uh, you no know, perspective, and uh, what I'm talking about. How do you look at uh, life? Okay, uh, in general. And how do you look at uh, the problems uh, you encounter or difficulties we all encounter in our day-to-day -day, uh, lives? I think that makes a lot of difference. And we must know that you know, each problem brings some opportunity hidden in that. Now, you have seen that you know, during this, uh, I think Dr. Ramesh sir has given wonderful statistics. And we could see that during the pandemic, okay, in 2021, Okay, there's a huge startups and around you know, 41 unicorn startups in 2021. I think that's something you no know, phenomenal, if you say. So each problems, that is COVID-19 effect or any other problems, there are a lot of hidden opportunities. And uh, we need to look at positively. There may be hindrances. There may be a lot of challenges in the beginning. But probably if we can sustain our efforts and hard work, and try to look at you no know, in a different perspective altogether with a mindset to bring out some solution to this. I'm sure that definitely we can come out with a lot of new ideas. Now, before I move forward, okay, let me know. Uh, let me talk something about you no know, entrepreneurship, where everyone is talking about you no know, entrepreneurship. I think I uh, know many people they say, and there are you know many literature available also on the subject like uh, entrepreneurship, leadership, and creativity. Uh, this concept cannot be taught. It can be caught, okay, uh, in, in, in a proper learning environment. Uh, but let me uh, put it in the right perspective. See, entrepreneurship uh, is also a kind of skill, okay? Let us take it as a skill, like we learn a lot of soft skills, right? Personal development, communication skills, Okay, or behavioral skills or presentation skills, a similar kind of uh, a way. This is also one of the uh, skills and uh, with some tools and techniques with kind of proper environment and mentoring, I think we can develop the skill sets and we can start a business. It's possible. Why we see there are so many startup activities which we could not see maybe 10 years back. Why? Because there is a startup ecosystem, a proper architecture at present. At Dr. Ramesh sir has given a lot of initiatives by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, and uh, we could see a lot of uh, you no know, venture capitalist fund, a lot of startups in this particular sector to support the startups. So that is mentoring, whether it is developing you no know, uh, MVP, whether it is pitching. Okay, and uh, with a raising fund, okay, these are some of the things which we did not hear maybe uh, not 10 years back, but these are very common, okay? And uh, the popular you no know, TV show, the Sark Tank, okay? And uh, I think there is, there is uh, a, a, a lot of positivity in the environment, in the mindset, a lot of talks are happening, a lot of news we read, and we, See also in our surroundings that a lot of people, they started their business and uh, they have become successful. So this is the right kind of situation India is passing through and we all are privileged to be part of this particular you no know, transformation what India is going through. And with your interest, people say that no, 
uh, uh, fire under the uh, uh, belly. I think uh, that's very, very important. That's why many people say, uh, no, entrepreneurship is more to do uh, with your heart than in your head, okay? So if you want to do something, uh, definitely no one can stop you. Let the whole world uh, know, uh, conspire, the popular saying. But before I start uh, on the subject, okay, there is another uh, no, uh, concept I would like to touch, which are very, very essential. And I think which is heart and soul of the uh, today's uh, conversation on entrepreneurship and the creativity. And uh, this is about debunking some of the myths. Okay, some of the myths generally we talk in startup parlance. I think we should have the clarity. If we have the clarity, probably it will be easy for us to embrace to embrace the entrepreneurial journey. The number one already I have debunked that entrepreneurship no uh, uh, cannot be taught. It can be caught. It's a skill like any other skills. It also can be developed, nurtured, and put it into action. What the transformation is happening in the startup ecosystem in India, that is because of this particular you know, uh, myth we could debunk over a period of time. <clears throat> there is another myth which is connected to this. Entrepreneurs are born, they are not made. I think that's also totally false. That also totally false. There may be some of the people, okay, those who started their entrepreneurial journey at an early stage, at an early age, okay, that's fine. That may be there in their mind, they want to do something or maybe into their family business or maybe, uh, no, they got uh, some kind of spark or motivation from their friends or family members or peer group that may be uh, anything may be the uh, no stimulus but because of that we cannot say that entrepreneurs are born they are not made there are maybe some entrepreneurs are born entrepreneurs that of course fine but entrepreneurs can be made if we take it as a skill if we nurture mentor and uh, give them proper guidance okay so many of us, many of us, we can become successful entrepreneur. There is another myth. I think maybe uh, no, because of that, many people, uh, they don't uh, get into uh, this startup business, okay? Uh, see, yeah, generally people, they uh, no, look for a uh, cozy, comfortable life, right? Is it not? Okay. <clears throat> and uh, people say the myth is that, no, uh, the entrepreneurs, they don't have their personal life. I think that's another myth. Okay, definitely. The life of an entrepreneur is very busy and there'll be a lot of uh, no task what he or she needs to complete by himself or herself. And uh, the entrepreneur needs to take care of all the activities in the uh, initial stage. Okay, in the initial stage, marketing, HR, finance, everything you know, uh, should be done by uh, the entrepreneur himself or herself. Uh, because you know, at the start, at the startup stage, we cannot spend a lot of money uh, and go for hiring in the initial introductory part, what I'm talking about. But it's not that, uh, you know, that entrepreneurs don't have their personal life. They also have their personal life. What, as an entrepreneur, Everyone needs to do to plan the activity properly, to plan the activity properly, to schedule the work properly, manage the activities efficiently. I think uh, then there is no problem. Okay, uh, everyone uh, can have their own time to spend with their families, spouses, or for their day to day activities. There is no problem as such. But at the initial days, okay, there may be you no know, work pressure will be very, very high. It does not mean that entrepreneurs, they don't have any personal <clears throat> life. Okay, so this is the second uh, myth. The third myth, real entrepreneurs don't quit. 
Okay, we generally say that you no know, 90 to 95 percent people, uh, the entrepreneurs, okay, uh, they don't succeed. Around five percent entrepreneurs, but they go to the next stage, maybe introductory to the growth stage, right? Now, the huge percentage of entrepreneurs, those who don't get uh, no success, okay, in their startup journey, probably uh, they could not sustain their efforts. They got defocused. They got afraid of, okay, challenges or the competitions, okay, or they may not be good at marketing that product. They may not be good at meeting the customers, taking the feedback from the people, okay. There may be so many reasons why they did not do well. Now, real entrepreneurs also they quit. We have seen many entrepreneurs who started their journey, okay, in particular, uh, you no, know, in one area then they could not do well immediately. They modified their product. They modified their product or they came out with some additional attributes or the value proposition or they changed their uh, no <clears throat> area of business and they came out very, very uh, successful. There are ample examples. Okay, Steve Jobs himself, okay, had to quit uh, you no know, Apple. Okay, his company again came back with new ideas and thoughts, then it becomes... No history. There are so many examples wherein no initial, uh, no, the focus area did not do well. Then they did the modification and they changed the course. They come out with a new idea and uh, they become successful. There are many entrepreneurs who build up a successful entity and then they sell it off and they again start a new business. So quitting is part, failing is a part of learning. It's a journey. But if you have the focus if you have the consistency and uh, the discipline right and that's also very very important entrepreneurs must be uh, very very disciplined because there are a lot of activities a lot of you know uh, pressures will be there and at the initial stage you need to go out by yourself and take care a lot of activities so definitely you should have uh, <clears throat> the calm in your mind patience i think these things are very very uh, important for any entrepreneur so entrepreneurs also they fail, they also quit, but they learn from each failure, okay? They quit from one particular area and they get into another area where they could see because of the last experience, yes, there is a growth. They move and then, then they move forward, okay? Then they scale it up. So entrepreneurs, the real entrepreneurs don't quit. I think that's another uh, uh, myth. There is the fourth myth okay why i'm saying this myth because we need to understand this well then automatically okay we will have the clarity in our mind and uh, it will help us it will help us if we have uh, you know, an idea to germinate eliminate you know and uh, then uh, go for incubation uh, then uh, there is another popular thought okay the entrepreneurs you are your own boss okay Business people, they don't have boss. They are their own boss. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's your business. Okay, you need to take care. Even if you go let, no one bothers. Okay, all those uh, no aspects are fine. But uh, I think entrepreneurs, uh, they cannot be bossed by themselves because uh, no, they, have, they need to meet the people. Okay, they need to meet all the stakeholders. They need to meet the prospective customers. I think they are the boss. They are the boss. Okay, so uh, no uh, entrepreneur needs to take their uh, no uh, opinion, their views on the product, what they're saying. Okay, uh, he needs to listen to it carefully. Okay, I think I think I think uh, then uh, this particular concept. Yes. Okay, I want to become my own boss. Let me start my one venture. I am the boss. Okay, I'll rule. Okay, I think um, uh, this is not the correct. Okay, uh, no uh, perception. Okay, or understanding on entrepreneurs okay definitely they 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 have they, they they are their own boss but no in fact okay if you look at i think the prospective customers stakeholders okay they are the boss okay but uh, the entrepreneurs uh, need to listen to them and uh, bring out solutions to their inquiries and that's very very uh, important there is another myth uh, that entrepreneurs if you want to become entrepreneurs then you can become you know very very rich Okay, and we got examples of uh, no uh, 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 Jeff Bezos of uh, Amazon, 
then uh, no jack ma pali baba or bill gates okay all big examples you like packard and all if you look at if you look at even google uh, no if you look at their uh, no <coughs> journey initially they also struggled they all started from zero because you know most of them are the first generation entrepreneur right they are not the second generation entrepreneur like reliance okay dhirubhai ambani already built up then their uh, no uh, sons came up and took it to the next level but they are the but initial stage okay uh, dhirubhai ambani also you know that uh, he, he used to work in a petrol pump uh, pump and then uh, you know he could sense that petrochemical has a huge prospect and he started his business so initial days are always tough and uh, it's not that all entrepreneurs um, are rich but you have to put lot of efforts i think that's very important you need to put lot of efforts in the initial days okay then scale up your business okay then probably you know if you see that there is opportunities then you can always diversify like wipro if you see that you know they started with sunflower oil and now they are into software developer okay and business process outsourcing then they could diversify into multiple areas so uh, no azim prem ji could sense it that there is a good prospects okay and uh, so uh, he could sense it properly and then he diversified his business and the rest is the history okay about you know we pro one of the successful uh, no uh, business entity uh, in the world not only in india i think that's another myth there is another myth that uh no the key to success um no uh, <clears throat> is believing uh in it enough the key to success is believing in it enough that means suppose you have an idea and uh, you have 100% confidence and the faith yes this idea will uh, no work and uh, that's fine that's fine but many times you know we see that you know even we could sense it or even we interact with the prospective customers and you could see that you know there is a need uh, to modify or uh, you no know, change uh, certain attributes you know in the product or idea may not be feasible okay probably you no know, we should be uh, open okay we should be open minded to embrace uh, the new thoughts and ideas i think that's very important believing in yourself is fine believing in the idea is fine but we need to test it that's why in the you no know, entrepreneurship in your literature also you will see that why uh, no feasibility study is so important why there is alpha test beta test okay why we do the business analysis of the proposed idea then we select a particular idea i think that that process is very very important believing in it idea is absolutely uh, a fine but we need to have the open mind and uh, we need to think rationally and uh, logically i think that is very very uh, important there another need that you no know, entrepreneurs take extreme risk tell me where there is no risk even taking no risk itself you no know, is a risk so it's not that you no know, uh, that uh, that entrepreneurs uh, they take extreme risk but they should take calculative risk i think that is very very uh, important they should be able to take calculative risk now to take calculative risk what as an entrepreneur he or she is supposed to do he or suppose he see supposed to do lot of you no know, analysis lot of feasibility studies and should have the futuristic view should have you no know, proper understanding of the business environment what is happening in the industry i think possibly then it becomes perfectly uh, uh, fine for one to uh, no um, no min minim minimize the risk i think that's very very important can all of you hear me yes sir okay i think uh, hello yeah. sir yes yes now perfectly fine thank you <clears throat> my video got stuck i could see it okay absolutely fine okay the next uh, the myth is again again it's a very popular one 
entrepreneurs always talk about money, money, money. <laughs> but of course, money is the biggest motivator. Okay, you accept or don't accept. But as an entrepreneur, if you always look for money, then it becomes very, very challenging. What you should look for, how you can address an existing problem and solve certain issues in the society if you want to become into, get into you no know, uh, social business activity. I think that part is very important. Okay, money will automatically follow. But if you can deliver values, you can address a particular problem or a particular need, then automatically the money will flow. I think that is very, very uh, important. Another, another uh, no, very popular myth is that uh, if you want to become an entrepreneur, then you should have uh, no a unique idea. I think that's also somewhat, uh, no, I think uh, it's not uh, right because uh, many existing ideas no, busy. You can start your business, and uh, then you can flourish. Always, it did not be no unique idea. I think uh, you know. Uh, we'll discuss a little bit about uh, the idea. What is unique idea, and how new ideas can be uh, generated? Probably, then we can have a uh, lot of question answers on this particular subject. I think these are some of the myths as far as. Uh, no entrepreneurship is concerned. Now let's come back to the uh, particular uh, no area of uh, startup. I'll try to share my you know, own experience as well. I think there will be good of learning as an entrepreneur. All yes, <clears throat> is it fine now? Yes, sir. It is fine now. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> sorry for uh, the technical. Uh, okay, uh, difficulties because uh, being online, okay, sometimes we have to bear it. Uh, so let us just uh, move on on the subject. And uh, we have debunked some of the myths connected with uh, the startup and entrepreneurial journey. I think that's very important for all of us to understand and have the clarity on the particular uh, you know, subject on the startup and entrepreneurship. Now, uh, <clears throat> moving forward, uh, see, uh, there are two kinds of, uh, no, let me uh, tell you something, okay, uh, different. Uh, no, there are two different uh, kinds of business entity, yeah, if we can uh, look at the startup, okay. <clears throat> Probably one is, no, uh, we call it uh, small scale industries or small medium enterprises, okay. Where in small medium enterprises, uh, they operate, uh, uh, no, uh, in a limited area. Okay, they satisfy the needs of the people in a limited and defined area, geographical area. But the other part, you uh, know, uh, what is very, very important and all we should try to get into that, that is IDE, the innovation driven entrepreneurship. Now, here is the opportunity. The whole world is your marketplace. Okay, the innovation driven on uh, no entrepreneurship. If you have an uh, 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 idea, okay, wherein uh, you see there is a prospect and this particular idea could solve a lot of uh, you know, problems. Probably, you know, you can come out. Now, due to this uh, pandemic, okay, uh, you have seen that some of the business, uh, you know, they have grown, okay, extremely well. And some of the business, uh, you know, they were badly hit. Now, I just take example of one particular business. See, travel and tourism industry, okay, it was badly hit along with your no aviation industry, logistic and warehousing, all these businesses were uh, no, definitely uh, badly hit. But you see travel and tourism industry, okay, uh, many people uh, during this last uh, no, pandemic two and a half years time, okay, they came out with the virtual tourism. Even if you go to make my trip, you'll see you know, that virtual tourism, you can visit a particular place, okay, virtually, okay. And, uh, uh, you know, with the invention of technology like uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, okay, these things have become uh, you know, more popular, the virtual reality, 3D printing and a lot of 3D uh, no, uh, uh, videos, okay. So I think every problem, as I said in the beginning, 
no comes with some opportunities hidden in that problem we need to find out now a lot of innovations during last two and a half years we could see because of the pandemic now telemedicine was already there in india but no it was not so popular but during this pandemic we could see the doctor from bangalore okay has patients all over india and the doctor is uh, no able to uh, no treat them or advise them okay being in bangalore okay and uh, people have also become aware yes this is possible so they have shown their interest yes this can happen and uh, uh, at the end what is happening okay everyone is getting benefit out of it right getting a good doctor getting good medical advice and uh, no, no getting treatment i think that's something uh, no uh, i think uh, everyone is uh, looking for i think that's the beauty of this uh, pandemic a lot of challenges and uh, the best part what we could see that you no know, digitization whether it is uh, academic world whether it is corporate world we have seen a lot of e-commerce activities a lot of startup you no know, on internet okay and uh, today we say that whether someone is from marketing finance or hr or any disciplines irrespective of that irrespective of any disciplines or uh, you no know, uh, or you may be from any walks of life for your digital presence okay what i'm what we call the online reputation management is so important because whenever we apply for any job what happens the recruiter first they google your name and try to find out and even in the resume now it is somewhat mandatory to give your uh, no social media link so that people can go through and try to uh, look at your uh, <clears throat> no your thinking level and uh, your activities or uh no different perspectives i think uh, uh, it has come to this particular stage so having understanding of digital marketing now entrepreneur to see the e entrepreneur or the digital entrepreneur using the uh, no internet okay i think uh, the whole world is your marketplace and there is a huge opportunity for all of us today okay to start business on the internet many people are doing business using the facebook page facebook group uh, we could see and uh, and uh, they have become uh, no uh, successful there are many popular stories of uh, using social media and doing wonderful business we could see many successful entrepreneur those who become entrepreneur you know have started their own youtube channel and earning in millions i think that is possible i think today the market is wide and open only thing uh no uh, if we have the right kind of mindset if we look at it and if we uh, think properly and uh, make a proper plan yes here we start from zero how we'll move forward what will be you know uh, my business 5 years down the line 10 years down the line what strategy we should adopt and in between you no know, whenever we do something if there is some setback some failures then if we can take the learning from those failures and the setbacks and you no know, put new thoughts in our action plan probably you know uh, each one of us each one of us can come out uh, you no know, as a successful uh, entrepreneur i think that's very very important now in this whole journey of uh, you no know, entrepreneur okay we'll see that many people they become successful very fast many people it takes some time okay so if one person becomes successful maybe one year uh, time okay uh, we can't expect that if i start a business i'll also become successful in one year time okay so each journey is different right each journey of an entrepreneur is different what we can take what we can learn from the journey their experiences their learning how they have developed the business i think that is the learning that may not be no i exactly we cannot replicate in our business okay our journey with our limitations our challenges our understanding it is a different and uh, no and unique journey by itself okay but all those learnings from the experiences we must take it okay i think that is very very important let us not replicate somebody's journey and put it into our own uh, life path i think the, that may not be uh, their experiences all those things are fine we can take the inspiration we can take then our product our business our plan we should be able to adapt and customize those learnings and then put it into action i think that's very very uh, again very very important now this particular uh, no uh, the, the subject entrepreneurs many people say that uh, no um, uh, there are many uh, no uh, uh, theory on this particular subject i'm not getting into uh, those uh, theories probably you may ask uh, in the question and answer session i think that would be great but uh, um, see there are certain areas which i would like to 
know, uh, 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 know, looked into uh, the uh, new idea, what I was talking about, about the new market strategy, new idea strategy. See, idea, okay, uh, comes may come from any sources. I think first, okay, whenever you get some idea, we try to you know, write it down and uh, only mere idea uh, no, uh, does not help. We need to do uh, the business analysis. I'm sure you know how to do the business analysis. You know, uh, coming out the break-even point, probably you can go for a part and CPM technique, okay? Program evaluation, debut technique, critical path measurement. Those are part of the project management. I think these are also equally very, very important once you start a new business. And then you have to do the feasibility study of the idea. Okay, whether the idea, uh, no economically feasible, financially feasible, and uh, no, whether uh, we have the technology or engineering feasibility or environment uh, feasibility, uh, it should not pollute the environment. I think from all these aspects, the uh, in management, you uh, know, you call it paste analysis, right? Political, economical, social, and technological, uh, no uh, analysis. So this environmental scanning, paste analysis, we must do before we start working on a particular idea that's very very important second the business analysis part okay if you want to start a business what would be the uh, no capital required from where we can source the capital that's also very very important but capital is the life blood okay we, without capital we can't do anything so that also is required how much time it will take uh, to reach to the break even point and start getting revenue i think that's another challenge we need to work on that and see, and from the experiences as we move on, we need to fine tune. I know our approach, our strategy. I think that's also another area we must look into. Then developing, uh, you know, uh, the prototype of the product and uh, go for a test marketing, minimum viable product, MVP. Go for a test market. See the acceptability of the product. See what uh, you no know, user are saying about your product. Its benefits, its uses. Okay, uh, the values it uh, delivers. I think that is also very, very important, you no, know, when we start a business. Now, once we take the feedback and incorporate, uh, okay, uh, those things into the product, then we go for commercialization. I think that's, uh, you no, know, uh, uh, very become very, very uh, effective. So, being a startup, okay, being a startup, uh, you no, know, uh, it's always required for all of us uh, to have an open mind don't have any luggage to have an open mind okay then uh, able to get new ideas and thoughts during our journey okay look at the particular industry we are starting our business study about the industry who are the competitors what are their offerings what they are doing which business they are doing that's what people say you know uh, you start small and scale up fast okay that's the best way to move forward okay try to uh, get into a particular niche Okay, and try to address the needs of the problem in that particular area. And then slowly we can move up, spread across other areas based on you no know, acceptability of your product. I think that's the best way. That's why I think you should take the you no know, calculative risk. And uh, I think Dr. Ramesh sir was talking about uh, the different funding schemes which are available by the government of India. We have a lot of uh, you no know, venture capitalist fund here from Mumbai. And very famous, the Mumbai Angels Network, you know, which supports uh, uh, no startups. Okay, there are a lot of pitch uh, business uh, pitch will be there, elevator pitch, wherein you can present your paper, or present your business plan. Probably you can get some uh, no seed capital. Okay, uh, so I think the capital can never become a problem uh, to an entrepreneur to start a business okay we think like that you know if you want to start a business from where we'll get money maybe two three friends can join together and uh, from their savings or from their families they can invest okay in a small way then slowly you know scale it up slowly scale it up the business i think uh, that particular part that particular part we must uh, be very very careful okay the capital the managing the capital administering it and the uh, working capital, because initial days, what happens? You have to give a lot of uh, things to credit, uh, okay, to the uh, customer. Sometimes it do happens. A lot of capital get blocked, and uh, no, uh, the the people uh, get suffocated. So, uh, the funds, the cap raising of the capital, raising of the funds, and administering the funds properly. These two part you must uh, know uh, take uh, uh, <clears throat> a proper 
proper understanding. You must understand proper, then you should be able to administer the, this particular aspect very well. Because uh, see, fund is the lifeblood, right? If you don't have fund, then it's very difficult to uh, continue. And uh, expert says that if you start a business and if you can float for maybe uh, no three to five years, probably then uh, no, you are successful. But uh, many of the entrepreneurs know they leave uh, their business maybe within six months because they are not able to take up the pressure or they can't see beyond. Okay, I think uh, that's the challenge. I think that's the challenge. So once you have determined in your mind that uh, what you want to do, and uh, you must uh, always uh, think in this way, whenever you feel set back, uh, then you must uh, think that why I started the business, why I have come so far, okay? Then why to go back again? Why not to move forward? I think that's very important. That conditioning of your mind is very, very important. Okay, I think that's very, very like in the uh, management uh, education, we say that if you uh, join uh, a business school, you want to do uh, MBA program, then you must condition yourself uh, no, as a manager in the beginning itself then it becomes uh, no, very, very easy. You can understand the concepts, then you can implement uh, whatever you learn in the class, okay, uh, into the real life. So that conditioning is very, very important. I think that part is uh, no, very important. So this uh, uh, creativity is the next part, okay, creativity and innovation. And uh, what I said that to become an entrepreneur, the uh, the myth, you always need to have uh, a, a unique idea. That's not true. Even on the existing idea, also you can start business. You can add new features and attributes and the values and you can uh, you know, uh, flourish. I think that that is also there. It's always not the uh, unique idea. Now, you know the red ocean and the blue ocean strategy. Okay, definitely the red ocean means, see any new idea uh, or a new product launch in the market, you'll find out next day. Okay, there are a lot of competitors uh, who bring out the similar kind of products, okay, in the market. So that's uh, like, uh, you know, people call it dog eat dog market. Okay, it is a red bloody market. Okay, red ocean. Blue ocean means wherein you come out with a completely new thoughts. Like, let me give the example of Elon Musk. What is a new thought? Okay, the space tourism. Okay, spacecraft. Okay, space tourism. It's a complete, uh, uh, the, no, new idea. I think... Uh, the uh, then Richard Branson of Virgin, he also came out with uh, you no know, uh, the, the uh, space tourism. I think these are some of the you no know, out of the blue thought. Okay, and uh, uh, so I think that kind of innovative thoughts, if you have some innovation, innovative, very unique idea, and if you can properly develop it, I think uh, nothing better than that. But always we cannot have very unique and innovative idea with the existing idea with the new features and the uh, okay new features and the attributes also. Uh, we can start our business, probably we can look at the new market. New market means the product may be available in Bangalore that may not be available in some other parts of the country. So probably we can start that product may be new for that particular region. We can start the product in the particular region. So a uh, new market, okay, we have to find out a new market. And in the existing market means we have to do some kind of modification, put some you no know, add-on attributes, stop up, and then launch in that existing market. I think there is a huge opportunities in the uh, the whole startup ecosystem today because we have a very congenial environment. Number one, number second, we have a lot of government initiatives. Number third, we have a lot of venture capitalist fund who are ready to help if your idea is good, if you can make a good uh, no uh, presentation, you can pitch in well. Okay, that's another aspect. And there are, as uh, uh, no, uh, Chairman Sir was talking about, and uh, even Dr. Ramesh Sir was talking about, that uh, you know, in the institution itself, there is a very strong you know, uh, entrepreneurial architecture in terms of ED sale, in, in terms of you know, uh, institution innovation sale. A lot of government initiatives and uh, many institutions, they started their own incubator and incubating the uh, no new ideas and they're lending the space to the outside entrepreneurs also and there is a lot of success stories today uh, from the uh, no uh, business schools and the engineering colleges in india so i think uh, that particular positivity is there positivity is there platform is there the culture is there support system is there funding agencies are there 
successful mentors are there that's also another uh, you no know, positive aspect we have very good mentors today those who have highly expertise and experience in this particular area who can help you with their ideas inputs thoughts okay and that becomes very useful for you so that you no know, for uh, an entrepreneur the learning errors get minimized no one can say that i started a business uh, you no know, without making uh, any errors okay and uh, once for all i have become successful so the the number of uh, learning errors we can reduce if we get uh, a very good mentor okay to guide us okay i think that is also another aspect today which is uh, very very positive as per as uh, you know uh, startup ecosystem is uh, concerned now having said that today if we look at uh, you no know, indian startup ecosystem we could see that uh, okay there are uh, many many success stories today in india now one success story uh, just uh, very popular the coo okay the similar application in comparison with the twitter twitter is a global platform and coo if you want to know about india please join coo okay similar kind of application is a very popular applications and uh, they're doing so well and they launched just just uh, maybe two to and two and a half years back and today uh, it's a success story right is a success story the digital entrepreneur and uh, we know the success stories of paytm and razer pay and a lot of other upi okay <clears throat> upi startups and uh, they are very very successful today and uh, even in the community in the social service sector also okay uh, <clears throat> many people uh, today they are investing into the you no know, uh, social startup the non profit companies and the very popular one today uh, in the newspaper in the social media is by santanu naidu naidu by the general manager of uh, you no know, uh, mr ratan tata he started one new uh, startup good fellows good fellows to take care of the senior people okay young people will support they take them to doctors they uh, you no know, bring their day to day needs okay and uh, ratan tata has invested in that company okay in the good fellows so see very innovative idea i think that's 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 very very important okay <clears throat> in the social business in the social business if you want to do something for the community for the society there is also huge scope and social business is not uh, no um, uh, is not something highly commercialized but they also earn money okay there is also a way to raise the revenue for that okay so for their sustenance for the survival that's very very important so uh, today if i talk about the startup the entrepreneurs the everyone is an entrepreneur right everyone is an entrepreneur whether we start a business we join any company we manage our family business okay because the end result of becoming an entrepreneur is we should reduce the expenses we should enhance the values is it not we should have creative ideas to address the existing problem we should have new ideas for any future challenges if we consider these aspects then everyone by default is an entrepreneur that's why today people say that we should become entrepreneurial entrepreneurial in our approach that we should become creative innovative whatever we do it like as a business school student you should you all should be highly entrepreneurial whatever presentation is given to you you can do fantastic uh, presentation today with audio video and 3d okay there, there are a lot of uh, technologies available okay any project is assigned given to you you can do make a wonderful project you can become creative whatever you do it okay i think that is very very important okay being creative that's why there is so much focus on no uh, design thinking okay design thinking okay a lot of courses are available on design thinking how we can think a very structured way and how we can ensure that we can reduce the you no know, cost and enhance the values at the end i think that's very very important so every one of us must become entrepreneurial in our approach but if you really want to become an entrepreneur start some business activity okay so i think the right time is whenever you think that the time is right that time is the right if you, today you feel that you want to become an entrepreneur and you want to start a business activity i think today is the right time for you you can start 
know, uh, finding out or exploring the ideas, which particular area you can uh, know, start your business. I think that idea generation strategy, idea screening, idea generation, I think that is very, very important. If you can focus on particular idea and freeze on that particular idea after doing feasibility study and business analysis, I think probably the funding will never become any problem. Okay, you can always have the fund. Okay, you can always raise the fund from your friends, families, colleagues, or you can look for co-founders. Many people today, they go for crowdfunding. Okay, crowdfunding means, okay, uh, in LinkedIn, I've seen that many people, they say that I have uh, a fantastic idea. I need two co-founders with <clears throat> the capital uh, requirement of maybe 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs each. They are ready to invest. They can become the co-founder. So we have seen that, you know, uh, so this is also possible to raise the fund. It's not always you should uh, you know, put from your own pocket. But uh, one thing is very important. Many people think that to become successful entrepreneur, you must raise the fund or you must be able to get some funding from some agencies. I think uh, that is proven wrong uh, because Sridhar Vemu, the famous founder at Padmasri Awardee, uh, know of uh, 2022 uh, of Zoho founder. Okay, that's a fantastic example. He said that to say he did not take any funding, but he is uh, you know, one of the richest uh, person in India. And he said that to uh, start a business, always you don't need funding, funding, funding. Okay, that's not needed. You start in a small way. Okay, you get uh, the visibility of your product and service you're offering. Okay, there'll be word of mouth and people when your product get accepted by the people. Okay, automatically you can grow your business. Maybe at one stage when you want to grow up your business or enter into new market segments or other countries probably you want to go for diversification. At this stage, you may need some funding. But initial days, I think all uh, funding, uh, okay, uh, uh, today because it is available, that's what people, they go for it. Uh, but uh, not that always you need funding to become a successful entrepreneur. I think that's not uh, that that's not the uh, right idea. So uh, I think uh, uh, see we have come uh, to almost uh, I thought of sharing some of the you no know, ideas and uh, thoughts on this particular aspect. I think there should be more of uh, you no know, question answer. I think wherein we can interact with all of you and uh, probably will get more clarity instead of, you know, I keep on talking on the subject. I, I, again, again, see, it must be a conversation. And uh, because on startup and entrepreneurs, okay, it, uh, we cannot talk uh, more from my perspective because, you know, each one of you will have, you know, different things in your mind, okay, different ideas in your mind on the subject. Probably if all those ideas, uh, you no know, pour in, uh, okay, come forward. Then we can have uh, a very good uh, discussion on the subject, and uh, therein we'll have more clarity on the subject. So I request uh, Vaishali to please uh, open the platform so that let the question comes from the participants. Yes, sir. We now have a discussion forum. All the participants are requested to raise their hands. No, no, not able to hear. Can you basically can you remove the banner and uh, make the screen uh, bigger? Remove the banner banner of uh, today's program because. Uh, full screen. Yes, yes. Perfect. Yes. Uh, so, so, my question would be uh, as a professional who's going out uh, and he's trying to try and enter the car business, so how should we attract more capital or more investors in business idea and so on? Uh, what would be your meaning for the person who said? I'm, I'm not able to, uh, the voice clarity, I'm not able to hear you properly. Uh, Vaishali, can you repeat the question, what he's saying? So I think it becomes uh, easy because. <clears throat> uh, 
So, being a pre pressure, how to attract more capital for the business? Capital funding for the business. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Thank you so much. I think uh, uh, that's the, uh, one of the uh, no uh, worries. Uh, all entrepreneurs, promising entrepreneurs, they have from where we can get the capital to start a business, and that's a very very common uh, no uh, inquiry on this particular subject. In all platforms, you no, know, this particular question is raised. That's why I gave the example of Zoho. Okay, the, my purpose of giving the example of Zoho at the end, okay, knowing that there will be a lot of questions on this particular area of how to raise fund from where we can get the capital. Now, let me come to the particular point. See, everything starts, if you think in the beginning that, uh, no, uh, if I have capital or enough money, then only I can start a business. Okay, I think the idea itself is wrong. Okay, to start a business first, you should have okay uh, something in your mind, something in your heart, and uh, something you want to do by yourself, and uh, you want to enter into a startup business and uh, want to grow and want to serve the society, bring out some solution of existing problem. You want to make name, uh, no fame. You want to grow on money, obviously, on money on a later stage. I think these are some of the thoughts which should be there in your mind in the at the initial stage. Then probably no. Uh, Moving forward, definitely we need money. But always, whenever you look to start a business, see that you know, your capital requirement at the initial stage is very, very minimal. Now, take the example of Google or take the example of Mark Zuckerberg or uh, no, uh, maybe uh, no, uh, Jeff Bezos of Amazon. Mostly, they all of the companies they started in garage with you no know, very, very uh, less capital. Some people did not have any money only. But their idea was very good. They could sell the idea to some of their uh, you know, friends and colleagues, those who invested in their business. And uh, they prospered over a period of time. Today, the big businesses of billions of dollars, they all started from zero. So we should not look at, at which position they are there right now. We should look from where they started. I think that is very important. They started in a very noble way, maybe from the scratch. So I think that should be the initial stage for all of us. Overnight, we cannot become successful and earn a lot of money. Let's have an idea. Let's have a proper plan. Let's find out the problem and try to address that particular problem. Let's do a study. If you are very, very convinced, okay, if we trust, People say, if you trust the process, the passion will drive you. I think that is very important. Okay, whether you believe in yourself, whether the idea you identified, okay, you have done the initial screening. Now we are confident, yes, you can take up on this particular idea. If those things are clear to you, you're confident about it, then definitely. No funding and capital may not be any problem for you. And I say, it, even if you need capital, there are today you will find out many angel investors, many people, those are a lot of fund because ecosystem is like this. Many angel investors are there who are ready to fund your business and take a stake on it. Okay, I'll fund you 50 lakh rupees and I'll take 20% of the stake of your business and give me a position of CMD of the business. There are many angel investors, but you should have the terms and conditions, okay? No, uh, with that particular investors, how you are looking clarified at the beginning itself, so that later on there are uh, no uh, not much uh, problems at the end. So that's one part. There are many you no know, bridge financing and seed capitals from the banks which are given mudra loan, okay? And uh, what Dr. Ramesh uh, sir said in the beginning. Uh, visit to Startup India uh, no, page, Startup India portal, you will find out different sources of funding, different sources of funding from where you can get the fund. 
okay that probably that will also will be useful or you can four or five friends you can join together and contribute fund and you can start your business probably then you can look for uh, you know co-founders what i was talking about crowd funding today has become very very popular entrepreneurs you know i have seen that they're able to raise fund from the social media platform for their business but if your idea is good and obviously there are venture capitalist fund today non venture capitalist fund they themselves are entrepreneur they are looking for successful you know uh, pitch successful business idea where they can invest because if they invest they will get their return back because they are also entrepreneur so venture capitalist fund themselves are entrepreneur they are looking for good ideas good business plan wherein they can invest so i think capital may not be any problem but remember the cardinal principle if i say if i can call it in this way that uh, you start small then scale up fast when you start small automatically your capital requirement investment will be minimal then you scale up fast i think that's the best way best approach to look at the startup yes next question please next question can please switch on the video ये बहुत 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 आया है यार नाउ तो बिल्कुल बहुत बहुत आया है सिर्फ बहुत बिजनेस ये एक्सपीरियंस के लाइफ टाइम में तो बहुत 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 आया है यार सिर्फ 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 बहुत 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 आया है � can i have the question once again please if you don't mind okay 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 uh, good ideas right good ideas we're talking about good ideas how to get good ideas <laughs> okay okay very good very good wonderful question uh, uh, see one of my mentees okay he came to me and uh, once he told to me Uh, sir uh, do you have uh, any idea where i can start a business i said that uh, then it's very becoming within it's very challenging for you okay uh, uh, for you to start uh, a business or become an entrepreneur so the idea is uh, some things you know which should come uh, from your side from the mentee side not from the mentor side okay just one example now good ideas from where you can get the good ideas ideas come from what that's what i said okay there are many ideas okay simple simple ideas can come from our day to day lives from our day to day lives okay we visit to uh, some places we get exposed to so many uh, you no know, external <clears throat> variables with the people with the uh, no uh, uh, hoardings okay whether some exhibitions from each place we can get some new ideas okay then the problems which we encounter okay in our lives that becomes a problem if you read newspaper business magazine listen to the news channel you will get lot of exposure what is happening in the industry probably that will give some kind of uh, you no know, uh, uh, stimulants for your brain to come out with some ideas okay idea good idea uh see any idea is a good idea if it can uh, you know convert it into a product and uh, uh, service and uh, if that can solve a particular problem in the uh, society i think that's very important so many people what they do they do market research or market survey or meet people 
okay try to find out the existing problems and trying to bring in some product to address that see any news if you can bring a solution to any existing problem that becomes a good idea that becomes a good idea right probably you no know, uh, over a period of time that idea may need some kind of you no know, modification that's fine that's fine with the changing time people needs preferences gets changed because of exposure to the media and uh, exposure to the media and a uh, lot of other competitive products in the market okay uh, so people's uh, requirement uh, changes so that's what we see today uh, no every year mobile phones iphone 12 iphone 13 13 pro iphone 13 max okay all the time we'll see that uh, they're coming with a new version with some new features because people aspirations and their requirements are changing so they want to remain competitive so every year they're coming out with new attributes okay and uh, so, so that, that that that's needed i think i think that that's, that's very very important the idea which uh, today uh, it may look good maybe 5 years down the line we need lot of modifications to that particular idea uh, to ensure that you no know, uh, customers are engaged okay customers are engaged delighted happy and probably you can enter into the uh, no new market uh, segments as well so any idea is a good idea if you can commercialize that idea number 1 number 2 if that idea can work as a solution of some existing problems third if that idea is cost effective okay if that idea is cost effective fourth many ideas they die naturally because it is not communicated properly so the communication is very important many startups they fail because they don't have a very good marketing or selling strategy ultimately your idea converted into a product service or design whatever it is that has to be okay used or bought by the customers so that communication strategy the business communication strategy or reaching out to the customers that also very very important if you can do that then your idea can be a good idea right so idea all ideas at the same time all ideas we cannot convert that particular idea into product and service because as i said before you need to do some feasibility analysis you need to do some business analysis to see that whether the idea we can work on that particular idea or not that's also equally very very important whether it is feasibly feasible feasible technically or there are uh, tools and techniques or okay uh, engineering supports are there to convert that particular idea into product and service or not at the particular time i think that's also very very important and uh, the innovative ideas what i was referring to that uh, red ocean and the blue ocean strategy okay any new ideas uh, the breakthrough the disruption what you call disruption something new idea you bring in like space tourism okay out of the blue okay holograms now okay my holograms have become very very popular a lot of new ideas new thoughts if you can bring in okay probably okay uh, see uh, what happens some ideas may be futuristic generally people they don't understand that there may be need for certain ideas but if you can bring that idea and convert into product service and tell the people yes you need this then that becomes very very successful is it not see the uh, online meeting the tele presence by the cisco it was uh, no uh, invented long time back long time back i heard about tele presence in uh, 2007 8 okay tele presence online virtual meeting at uh, that time webex was there for the online meeting they used to use the media tone technology for online meeting okay but uh, webex was a very successful company later on acquired by the cisco but uh, it was not very popular at that time okay the online meeting or the tele presence those technologies not popular at that time but it was a futuristic technique that time now today see their business growth because of this pandemic okay because of this pandemic everyone has come on the digital platform and uh, so that kind of futuristic ideas also if you can have which at present <clears throat> uh, may seem that may not be required but probably if you can connect you can communicate properly you can deliver the value proposition to the prospective customers 
and position it properly okay in terms of uh, you know uh, price and quality see one thing you must understand uh, anything you do until unless it is a luxurious product or novelty product right in marketing what you call uh, see people generally they need uh, you no know, good quality product with the lesser price and in marketing strategies, you know the penetration strategy, skimming strategy. A lot of strategies are there. But people, you must understand, as a customer, I am also price sensitive. I want a reasonable price, best quality product. Majority of the people, except very few people, those who go for novelty product, luxurious product, they don't uh, look for money. Okay, 100 rupees. Maybe the original cost 100 rupees, manufacturing cost. They're ready to pay 10,000 rupees because they have enough money and that product is very, very unique. So they want to create a you know, uh, all around them and the uh, social status. Those are different kind of people. We are not getting into that kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, discussion. But generally, people are very, very, uh, you know, price sensitive and they look for good quality products. Thank you so much. That was a very good question. The first was on the funding and the second was uh, on the ideas. What uh, is the good idea? There is no bad and good idea if it can be worked upon on this particular idea, convert it into product and process, or solve a particular problem, give a solutions at cost effective way. I think that idea becomes a good idea. Yeah, next question, Vaishali, can we move on? Hello. Yes, yes. So my name is Shikumatu, Brahman Sir. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not able to hear properly. Please tell. So now can you hear me, sir? Yes, 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 yes. So what are the career opportunities in current very scenario for the management students? No, no, not able to make out properly. Okay. Can you hear me now, sir? Yeah, I can hear you. Go a little slow okay, because okay. some voice distortion is there. Yes, sir. What are the career opportunities in current training scenario for the financial students? For MBA finance? Not for finance, but for the management students. Okay, all the management students. Okay, okay. Very good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> what are the career opportunities are there <coughs> at present time for the MBA students? I think uh, very, very relevant, very pertinent. And every one of us needs a job at the end of you know, uh, two years of your program. Those who want to become entrepreneur, that's a separate route. That's a separate journey. So they are self-employed. By default, they are self-employed when they think already in their mind that they will pursue entrepreneurship journey. Right? So they are placed by themselves. Now, those who want to get campus placement to some other companies, so which are the areas you look at you know, are very promising at present time in the MBA for the MBA graduates. See, many startups, many startups today, they are recruiting freshers. Many successful startups. I said in 2021, there are you now 41 unicorn startups in India. Okay. So, but life for a fraser in startup will be a little challenging and difficult, but there is a great opportunity for you to learn new things which will help you in your career. So many startups are recruiting MBA freshers and that's a uh, promising aspect as far as I uh, know I understand. The next, if I say, say travel and tourism, we can see there's a huge growth in the travel and tourism. Other day, uh, it was there that some 3000 people uh, no, Air India is recruiting some 3,000 people, MBA freshers in different domains. Okay. So I think travel and tourism industry is getting momentum after this pandemic and there is a huge requirement. 
probably know that's a very good area, travel, tourism, aviation sector. Okay. And uh, there is another uh, from Mumbai to Ahmedabad, the Akasa Air. Okay. The founded by, you know, uh, that, uh, okay, <coughs> Rakesh Janjunwala who died uh, of late. Okay. So, uh, I think a uh, lot of good opportunities in the travel, tourism, in the aviation industry. Okay. That's one area. The second, the financial sector, the health insurance sector are getting momentum once again. Huge growth. There's a huge prospect. Obviously, FMCG sector, there seems to be around 200 to 300% growth in during the pandemic. There's a huge requirement of the uh, no, uh, people. I think FMCG sector, the e-commerce especially, there is a huge requirement for the MBA uh, graduates for work. And uh, definitely the health insurance and the financial sector, there's a huge growth and a lot of uh, you know, needs of uh, manpower, the hospitality and the tourism aviation industry. Again, the transportation, logistic and the warehouse, definitely there are you no know, uh, huge growths and this sector needs you. This sector needs you. Probably if you are good at certain skill sets, mm -hmm. sector wise, whatever they are looking for, definitely you can work on these areas and uh, you can do extremely well. IT is IT enabled services. Okay, they need a lot of uh, you know, MBAs uh, for the market research, even for the HR interns or the HR freshers. Okay, they need they are now industry is uh, uh, growing, industry is growing very fast. Things are getting normalized. Already things are normalized. And we can see that uh, newspaper, that premier business school, they started recruiting even normal business schools also, they're getting regular campus placement. What is very important in the whole process is that, okay, you look at your employability uh, skills, look at what are the skills that generally, you know, in which particular industry you are looking to, you are looking forward. You must look at, you know, what are the skills that they look for? They in newspaper, employment news, and other places in the online job portal, you will see that kind of job descriptions they give or skill set they look for. You can always do an analysis whether do you have those skill sets or not. Probably if not, then you can always develop. So there is a, there is an opportunity for you to develop. That's why very very much required for you to understand the industries which the sectors are doing well. There is growth. Okay, so definitely if there is a growth more manpower will be required to support the activities or manage the activities so do you have those kind of skill sets probably uh, you need to do some kind of value-added course or certification courses like for the hr hr analytics uh, no uh, is a big word today everyone is talking about hr analytics the business analytics or the business intelligence have very good demand financial modeling okay probably some of the with some of that you no know, top up courses okay which gives you uh, no extra uh, values, okay. When your skill sets, then probably uh, no, uh, uh, you will be uh, absorbed by the uh, companies because companies they need manpower to support their activities. And almost all sectors we could see there is a growth. All sector we can see the growth. Now how we can present ourselves, how we can connect to the particular sectors, okay, and how we can uh, match their. Uh, requirements. I think that's very, very important. Okay. So uh, I'm sure that each one of you uh, will do well, whether you take up uh, the startup journey or you want to work or get a job, okay, in any company. Uh, so definitely we're out of COVID and uh, the economy is doing very well, around 7.5% and more, uh, the growth for the last quarter. So it's a very, very promising time. And uh, most of the sectors are doing well. And uh, I'm sure that each one of you will find your uh, no dream job, uh, probably. But look at the skill sets each sector they look for, and try to do uh, the self SWOT analysis. What do we say? You no know, self SWOT analysis for you, and uh, see that which are the areas you need to develop uh, with a uh, uh, you know with some certain additional add-on skill sets you can um, fit in the requirements of the corporate. Uh, thank you so much. Another very good question, very relevant question. Thank you, sir. 